Hey, this is Rebecca Holman uh, on the quest for creating A-plus content for our KDP books. Um, I was making some uh, content, A-plus content for my books, and one of the modules that, that you can use has the ability, especially if you've made books in series, to add the books at the bottom of your page. Now, of course, this is not my listing. I'm just using this as an example. It's not mine, but it's a really good one to use. It's got a top image, three images across in the module that you can pick, an image with some descriptive information, some bullet points, and then this module that has uh, information about different products that you have or different books that you have and then these actually link out to the other books now these books must be related they can't just be random books that go to a different pen name or anything like that so they really should obviously be part of a series if you have a series of activity books for the same age a series of coloring books or actually, I would imagine they would allow different notebooks uh, in here too. I'm not KDP. I'm not their review board. I don't know. This is all new, but this is an example. So we can put books down here. Um, and I imagine as long as they're related to each other and under the same pen name, that um, you should be able to, to do that. So, and then you just put the ASIN in here and then it links to the page that those books are on. How cool is that, right? But this is such an annoying size. It's really annoying. Now this person here just put the flat 2D covers, but you can spice it up and put 3D covers in there. And I think some folks would want to do that because that's what professional folks do. So I wanted to just touch on this really quickly because of my uh, internet access, I can't make really long videos. So that's why I'm making these really short, really quick ones for you, just to give you some little tidbits information. Um, so all you do is you go to your back office, you click on your marketing button, you'll see your A plus content if you have access to it. You're going to choose the marketplace that you're going to make it on. Now I make mine on uh, .com. And I'm pretty sure that once you put it on .com, it shows up on the pages for all the other marketplaces, just like if you make your Author Central page. So I choose my marketplace, and then it will take you to this page. Obviously, I'm going to uh, not show you the books that I'm working on, but you're going to um, click this button here, Start Creating A Plus Content. Once you do that, it's going to take you to this page where you're going to have a chance and it will just say add module. Now I've already added this module as an example, but you'll click on add module and then you will select the module that you want. And most people will have a module here at the top that has a, either their logo or uh, just an image that's cute to their book as you look at examples of different people. The module I'm going to talk about today is the standard comparison chart. Now, the nice thing is, is you don't have to have these different information underneath here. You'd have your book covers here and then the ASINs underneath. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. That's what I've clicked and that's what the standard comparison chart is. And I have two examples. The thing is, is that this is such a weird, weird shape. It's 150 by 300 and you can't really fit a standard book in there. So what you need to do is go to Canva or create the same thing uh, in PowerPoint or whatever tool that you use, Affinity Designer, I don't really care. Uh, Canva is fine. Most people use Canva or PowerPoint. You're going to make something that's 150 pixels by 300 because that is the size dimension that this is. If it's not that size, it will reject the image that you're trying to stuff in there. So. Canva or PowerPoint, just making a template of this size has really made it easy. Now what I've done is I use something called uh, <clears throat> eCover Authority. If you know Chad, uh, then maybe you know Chad, uh, I'm not sure how to say his last name, Elisher. Uh, he makes uh, wonderful coloring pages and stuff his daughters do anyway. Uh, this is his tool and I'll put a link below so that you can grab it if you haven't. Uh, he's going to be updating it. The cool thing about this tool is that you can make all types of 3D covers. If you have a hardcover book, 
uh, if you have other products. So I use this uh, to especially make more professional looking covers for my pins for Pinterest. Um, so that's the big reason why I'm using it. Now I'm not going to run through how to use it because he actually has lots of tutorials on here um, on how to use it. But all I want to just show you is that you can make this 3D cover. You would download this 3D cover. It doesn't really matter what size it is because all you're going to do is upload it to, um, let's see, here we go, to Canva. And let's get to where we were. There we go. You're just going to upload it there and then you'll drag it over. Now the two different things I've done here as an example is I put a background here and anybody who's used Canva just knows that you'd go to the photographs or elements, grab a back cover, and then you'd want to have the same cover or design across all the images just to make it look pretty. Or you can just take your cover, fill out this whole area, uh, and just download it as a PNG with transparency. So you just click transparent background and then it will give you that example that's right here. All right. And that's um, so you can have one with a background oh, and have them all with the same background that matches. You know, if you have a kid's book, then you'll have a kid's kind of background. If you have a, an adult book, then you'd have kind of a more sophisticated background. You can make designs, whatever you want to do so that they kind of work in a, a harmonious unit. Or you can just go plain Jane and just have a transparent background and then you put your title of your book here and when you have the title of your book there and then you put your ASIN then what it does when you put it on your page is it will look like this. So this is the title of the book and then the ASIN hyperlinks it to the page that this book is on. You don't have to do that highlight thing that's there. Uh, let's see, where is it? So I don't, if you highlight the column, it just turns it yellow. That's all it does. It really doesn't do very much. Uh, but obviously if you were trying to showcase a certain book, then, then you would do. So anyway, I just wanted to touch on that with you. So if you want to use this particular module in your A plus content, all it is, is it's the standard comparison chart. When you click add module, it's this one that's right here. And to make this really odd and irritating size, you're going to go to Canva or PowerPoint or Affinity Designer or Photoshop, whatever you use and create the template that's 150 by 300 pixels and fit it in there so that it will fit in this weird space. And if you do want to make really cool 3D covers, then the link will be below uh, and then you can grab this tool from Chad. Uh, he's going to be updating it in September, so I'm really excited to see uh, some of the new things he's going to be adding. It will have a, a little bit new of an interface and be a little updated because I've had this tool for, gosh, maybe five years. Um, so it probably needed an overhaul. Anyway, have a great day and have fun creating your content. Just remember, this replaces the look inside feature that no mobile app users had access to. Uh, so by using this feature, it means that mobile app users now can see important information about your book and it really makes your book look professional. See my other video um, if you're not sure about what A, A plus content is. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.